Well, it's another warm and humid Monday, and we're going to finish it off with some strong thunderstorms dropping in from the north. These have had a history of some large hail and strong winds, heavy rain as well. And as these drop south, they should be catching up with the Quad Cities area, say around uh, midnight up along Highway 20, even if we have to wait that long, might even be a little bit earlier. Uh, an enhanced risk of severe weather uh, for portions of Jones and Dubuque County. And as those storms drop south, you see that risk drops as well as these storms will weaken once they enter the QCA. But again, Here's 11 o'clock to midnight, leading edge of the stronger storms, just making it into the area. Still, at this point, we could see some perhaps damaging winds and large hail, but as these storms approach Interstate 80 in the Metro Quad Cities, they might turn over into heavy rain producers. Not a bad thing because our ground is so dry it can handle a lot of rain, and they really weaken once they drop south of Interstate 80. Now, for our Tuesday, we could start the day with some lingering rain, and in the afternoon, pop up some more random showers and a few thunder showers along the way, and this will cool us off a little bit. It, but Wednesday warms up again and we actually have some more rain chances this week. Not a bad situation. 85 for your Tuesday, partly cloudy. Some morning thunder showers left over from tonight and then a few in the afternoon and early evening. Wednesday brings a small threat of showers. 87, 83 on Thursday with another disturbance bringing some rain possibly. And look at that. We'll dry things out again after the next few days with rain chances and get into the weekend with highs in the low 80s.